Good day again everyone. Let us now continue our discussion with alternative obligation. So we have known already that when it comes to alternative obligation, there are several things due, but the delivery of one is sufficient to extinguish the obligation, right? So we so we have also discussed that uh, an alternative obligation would be converted into a simple obligation, a simple and a pure obligation. Instances is when the debtor has communicated his choice to the creditor. If that choice is given among to the creditor, then that creditor have communicated his choice to the debtor if he is given now the right to choose. Also, in instances when only one of the prestations is due or due, um, um practicable for delivery diba we have discussed this one because two or three of the prestations and only one remains to be practicable because the others are um unlawful or impossible or not an object for uh of the obligation so now let's proceed with our discussion with article 1203 what is being stated under 1203 according to 1203 if through the creditors acts the debtor cannot make a choice according to the terms of the obligation the latter may rescind the contract with damages so here clearly the provision um, provided that if because of the creditors acts the debtor has been prevented when it comes to the selection of the prestations, deba. Right? So, what then could the debtor do? Well, the debtor has a right now to rescind for the contract. And it, as a consequence, as a consequence of canceling the contract, it creates the obligation to return the things which are the object of the contract together with their fruits and the price with its interest so it is also to it is also important that um the when the debtor is making his choice he di he didn't need he doesn't need to have the consent or concurrence ni creditor kung ano yung choice niya diba so the right given to the debtor to rescind the contract and recover for damages if it is through the creditor's fault. He cannot make a choice according to the terms of the obligation. Let's say for example, aside from the example as being provided here in your book. Um, one example is that, um, let's say, I oblige myself to paint a house, uh, you, to paint your house. Or to paint a picture of you in a canvas na half naked. Ngayon. Ngayon, ngayon. Um, what you did is you sold the house. So in that case, by your act. I, of course, I could not chose na uh, painting of your house. So in that case, I am given the option of either I would paint a picture of you in a canvas half naked or I would rescind the contract and I could ask for or recover for damages. Yun yung perfect example under 1203. So if the debtor cannot make a choice because of the acts of the creditor, his right is to rescind the contract and ask for the damages. Another example here. Assuming daw si D borrowed from C, the creditor, 20,000. Ngayon, it was agreed that instead of the 20,000, si debtor could deliver item 1, item 2, or item 3. If through the fault of C, the creditor, item 1 is destroyed. So, the option of D is either he could rescind the contract if he wants. So, in case of recession of the contract, the amount of 20000 must also be returned by D with interest. Sa part naman ni C, in turn, must pay D the value yung item 1 plus damages. Ano? So, here, D, instead of canceling the contract, pwede niyang piliin daw ang item 2, yung remaining items, or 3, with the right to recover the value of item 1 with damages. So, if D naman chooses item 1, 
his obligation is extinguished. C is not liable for damages. So, hope that uh, makes 1203 clear. Um, let's proceed now for 1204. Under 1204, the creditor shall have the right to indemnity for damages when, through the fault of the debtor, all the things which are alternatively the object of the obligation have been lost or the compliance of the obligation has become impossible. The indemnity shall be fixed taking as basis the value of the last thing which disappeared or that of the service which last become impossible. And then damages other than the value of the last thing or service may also be awarded. So the very question here is that what would be the effect of loss or becoming impossible no mga objects ng obligation na wala or it becomes impossible the delivery of those objects or prestations ng atin pong obligation. But before we gonna move on to the, um, the discussion of Articles 1204, let's make it clear muna that Articles 1203 and 1204, the right to choose which among the prestations belongs to the debtor. Tapos, dapat din daw yung loss tsaka impossibility of um, the delivery should happen before the debtor has made his selection. Ano? So, yun po yung sinasabi po ng um, uh, 12, uh, yun po yung atin pong application ng rule under 1204. What question na, what would be the effect if one or more, or even all of the things the, the debtor has promised to deliver got lost, what would happen? So here, some of the objects and all of the objects. So the very question nga ay, wa, ano nga magiging effect nun kapag isa, or two, or all of the objects nga ay would be lost? If some lang, some, if some lang. Under 12.04 Under 12.04 Ang sabi dyan ay Kapag some lang daw ng mga objects have become impossible or have been lost because of the fault of the debtor kasalanan po ni debtor the latter is not liable since he is the right to choice. So, kung edi ang gagawin na lang ni debtor ay huwag niyang piliin yung mga nawala. Ano, he would not be liable. Ano, since he has the right to choice. So, still, he could perform of what has been, what is remaining out of the several prestations. Pwede siyang mamili doon. Yun, eto din yung exception to the general rule as established in Article 1170 regarding liability for damages arising from negligence. Kung naalala ninyo, what if naman all of the objects has been lost or has become impossible through the debtor's fault? E di dito po, ang creditor shall have the right to indemnity for indemnity for damages kasi ang obligation nga ay hindi na mako-comply because all of the objects has been lost. So, kapag naman ang loss ay because of a fortuitous event, then the obligation is considered extinguished. So, ano po yung basis ng ating indemnity? Value, the last thing which disappeared o yung service na last become impossible. So, meron po tayo dyang example. Ano po? So, malinaw po tayo. Ano? The creditor shall have the right to indemnity for damages when through the fault of the debtor yung all of the things has been lost which are alternatively the object of the ob obligation. So, take note of that. So, let's say for example, Dapat po, dapat po, ay hindi pa po nagkakaroon ng the object is lost and the impossibility of delivery ay dapat hindi pa po nagkakaroon ng 
communication as to the choice. Kasi po, alam naman natin, na kapag nagkakaroon na ng communication as to the choice, saka pa nawala, then, um, magiging liable na si debtor kasi it's become, it has been converted into a simple um, obligation or pure obligation. So, as to the choice nga ni debtor.